This is NTV. Good morning to you. This is your world, and of course, like my colleague Zainab mentioned, today is World Sight Day. It is important for us to talk about sight because some of these things we take for granted, but really we should be minding the same. So you do not want to miss the conversation today. Of course, we'll also be, uh, also hey be showing you with demonstration as we continue with the conversation uh, and also talk about how important it is for us to just go and have our regular checkups because 2.2 billion people. A quarter of the world's population have a visual impairment, yet nearly half of this number uh, that is on visual impairment uh, could have been prevented or avoided. So good eye health has a ripple effect, improving education, economic and health outcomes. So on this World Sight Day held every second Thursday of the year, we look into some of sight debilitating conditions and why it is important for all of us to go for comprehensive ocular checkup. So you want to stick around until the end of the conversation. Today we want to ask you how often do you go for eye checkup? How often do you go for eye checkup? Interact with us on our social media platforms at NTV Kenya at Lubembe underscore Winnie. I'll be reading your feedback as we continue with the conversation. But let me introduce my guest for today. Um, it's so good to see you both. And of course, we have a lot <laughs> in studio. We have a lot of things. But again, Dr. Ari will tell us how important uh, you know, it is to and, and what they do uh, specifically. So, Dr. Ari, it's so good to see you. Uh, Dr. Is it Mutaza? Mutaza, Mutaza, right? Yes, correct. Somdi, yes, <laughs> who's an optometrist. Yes. Thank you so much for coming by today. Thank and of you. course, we'll also have Linda Wenjiku, again, who's here. Uh, to share her experience as well. So uh, thank you very much for coming uh, by today, Linda. How are you feeling this morning? I'm very well. You're well? How are you? All right, I'm well. The lights are not too bright for <laughs> no, you. No, no, I'm, I'm perfect. Ah. Awesome. I like, to that. Somji, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right. So, Dr. Somji, can we just start with the basics? Uh, World Sight Day, right? Yeah. Uh, which is today, the 13th. Um, can we just understand this day, why it is important for us to, first of all, just bear in mind how important our vision is? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, we'll go very slowly. Thank you very much, uh, mm -hmm. viewers. Mm -hmm. My name is Mutaza Somji, mm -hmm. and I represent uh, Kenya Association of Opticians. Mm -hmm as the organizing secretary. Mm -hmm. um, World Sight Day mm -hmm. was muted by the World Society in general, where they give us different days. Mm -hmm. And this was considered the right day to celebrate vision, in a way. Mm -hmm. On this day, basically around the world, visual uh, chapters are spoken about. All right. Uh, visual anomalies, visual impairments, mm -hmm. and it is important for all of us to partake from uh, these uh, initiatives. Mm -hmm. And these are the things which will help us promote eyesight right. and to understand where the problems of eye, uh, eyes in particular are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. and that would help. All right. And of course, today um, we also have a campaign going on. Um, and of course, the target is for Matatu drivers, which I feel is, is, is important. Yes. Uh, and, and especially right now, because again, they drive for long hours. And of course, this aspect of, of also driving at night. Um, but really, why specifically target them? So, <laughs> PSP drivers are basically our lifeline. Okay. They commute 
us from one place to another. To the they are yeah. part and parcel of our lives. Mm -hmm. Without them, I believe many people of us would be walking and talking and it would be so <laughs> difficult to reach our workplaces. Yeah. So we actually put our own selves into their hands. Mm -hmm. And for that, they have to be physically proper, completely. Mm -hmm. In the same manner, the first contact with the outside world is when you open your eyes in the morning Absolutely. and you start seeing. Yeah. Vision constitutes almost all aspects of this life. Mm -hmm. As we open our eyes, almost five million decibels comes into, mm -hmm. into play. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, my, uh, PSV driver mm -hmm. is the most important person on earth. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we talk to Linda, um, and of course about our experience with character corners, which again, Dr. Ari, you'll help us understand what exactly that is. Yes. Um, understanding vision, of course, the fact that you say vision, I mean, it's important, right, um, for us, for all of us to have a clear vision because, again, our eyes we see is the first contact that we have uh, with the entire world. But can we just understand that some of the co most common eye problems that we have in the country, then we'll come back to Linda. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're basically listed. Uh, I can easily uh, count them. Uh, number first is uh, refractive errors. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the population of, uh, let's say, 100, mm -hmm. you will find that about 30, 35 percent mm -hmm of the population is not being able to see far very well. Right. And that means distant to vision anomaly. Right. Imagine a PSV driver mm -hmm. driving his matatu or a car, mm -hmm. or our own driver, home driver, mm -hmm. is driving our car and taking our children to school, mm -hmm. and his vision is 35% less. Mm -hmm. uh, that is gross right. problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is number one. Then many people have got uh, field of vision issues. Mm -hmm. When the pressure inside the eye, you know, there is pressure which is also built up inside the, the eye. eye yeah. And when that rises, uh, you get peripheral vision problems. Mm -hmm. You suddenly and slowly mm -hmm. get tunnel vision. Yeah. All your peripheral vision is lost. You can't see, yeah. So that condition basically is known as glaucoma. Mm -hmm. And it is irreversible. Yeah. If it is not checked in time, then yes, it, you cannot get your vision back. Yeah. Third and the most prominent is cataract. Mm -hmm. Cataract affects about 40% of the population worldwide. Yeah. And that creates a lot of issues, blurred vision, uh, halos around the vision, especially at night. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and that, uh, the person is not comfortable at all. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, from this, accidents can happen. All right. So technically speaking, uh, refractive errors, mm -hmm. Uh, which is known as myopia or hypermetropia mm -hmm. and so on, astigmatism and all that, mm -hmm. and uh, cataracts, mm -hmm. glaucoma. Mm -hmm. And one more thing is uh, if there is some ocular issue inside the brain, mm -hmm. all those come up as anomalies. Yeah, as anomalies. All right, and of course for Linda's case is keratoconus, which will tell us more about this. But Linda, let's just get to understand when uh, did you first experience the symptoms? How was it for you? Mm -hmm. So it was uh, 10 years ago. Okay. I think I was in form two. Mm -hmm. So surprisingly, I didn't know I have it. All right. So I just went to hospital, just a local hospital to get my medical for joining high school. Mm -hmm. And then you're told to like close your one of your eye mm -hmm. and read some uh, letters. Mm -hmm. And then unfortunately, that is when I realized I see with one eye. Mm -hmm. So that is when my journey started. Mm -hmm back in 2012, around 2012. Mm -hmm. So uh, the doctor told me I can do contacts. Mm -hmm. Then I went back after a month mm -hmm. and then he said, that, hey, your eye is looking bad. Mm -hmm. So we have to do a graft on you. Mm -hmm. So a graft is like a surgery yeah. for cornea transplant. All right. So all through since 2012 until now mm -hmm. is when I understand what I'm suffering from, mm -hmm. thanks to Dr. Somji and I style opticians. Yeah. So all through, I didn't know what we are treating, mm -hmm. but then I now understand. I now you understand. Yeah. All right. So you said you didn't know. Like I didn't all know. this while well before that. I did. You know. were okay. Yeah. Your sight yeah. was fine. You didn't notice any. I just had allergies, like normal allergies, brown mm -hmm. eyes. You mm -hmm. know, you just put drops, mm -hmm. and that was it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Doctor Sam, did you just want to explain to us like how <laughs> that happens? Yes. Yeah. So a keratoconus basically is, if you look at the eye, okay. 
Uh, we have got a model I here. If, oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, we will get it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the cornea, that's the colored part, mm -hmm. that extends somehow mm -hmm. for whatever reasons. Mm -hmm. It becomes conical, like an ice cream cone, yeah, right. rather than being like a moon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when that shape changes, mm -hmm. it creates all sort of problems. Yeah, right. Now, this unfortunately, this mm -hmm. condition is mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. uh, treatable with glasses. The okay. patient will not be able to see, right. or with medicines, or with surgery. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you have to put a certain type of contact lens. Mm -hmm on the eye right. and the vision suddenly appears out of nowhere. Mm. The person can see very, very well. Okay. And a live example of that is Linda. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's interesting because most of the time when we think about eye problems, right, the first thing that we think about is glasses, right? Absolutely. Almost everybody wants to wear, um, to, to, to have glasses. That is one of the things that we think um, is the ultimate, um, you know, solution to some of those eye problems. But really, um, that is not the case. So for you, so you said for a while you were treating, but then you weren't too sure what exactly it is that you were treating until you met Dr. Somji who explained all those things up to you, yeah. right? Yeah. So what exactly were they treating? Did they tell you what exactly that was? Or, you know, they're trying to figure out so in what fact, this is? Uh, okay, so I had like surgery okay. on my right eye. All right. And then I did a procedure called cross linking mm -hmm. on my left eye. All right. So all through, I was just treating something. They're just saying it's just an eye problem. Okay. So I didn't have a clue all of right. what it is we are treating. Mm -hmm. So no symptoms, just blur vision. Mm -hmm. And all through, I used glasses. After the, after the surgery, I was using glasses. Mm -hmm. But uh, the vision was still blur. All right. So until I wore contact lenses, mm -hmm. my life took a turn. That, that is my life took I a mean, turn. look at you. Look at you. The way it's <laughs> it looks literally like took a turn. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you, I've never had such clear vision mm -hmm. in my life. Yeah. I've never seen the world as clear as I do right now. All right. Yeah. But but going back, like mm -hmm. in your childhood years, mm -hmm. was was it the same? Like your vision was was it blurred? Was it, you know? Yeah, it was just blur. It's all, right. all I knew for life, for like um, mm. yeah, a bit of like uh, more than 10 years of my life. Yeah. So it's all I knew. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I was like born again. It's like yeah. a rebirth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were given a second chance. Yeah, That's it's like a second thorough. chance. Yeah. 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 All right, Doc, and, and, and some of the symptoms then. And, and what is, first of all, what is the onset, uh, especially when it comes to uh, keratoconus? So it starts basically for uh, when we are very young. Mm. Uh, there are many people who get ocular allergies in the eye mm -hmm. and they are constantly rubbing the eye. Ah, yes. Now and we use our yeah. knuckles most of the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that creates a lot of issues. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the pigment here, the cornea and iris and everything, mm -hmm. is very, very fragile, very um, delicate. Mm -hmm. And as you rub, it starts changing shape. Mm -hmm. The more shape change, mm -hmm. the more conical uh, cornea mm -hmm. results. All right. And uh, that is where it all starts from, basically. Okay. So the environment, uh, the pollution, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the hygiene, mm -hmm. all these are the contributing factors, mm -hmm. especially when we are young. All right. As we keep on growing, these factors come much in effect because the itch is very very sweet mm. and you want to keep oh on, yes yeah you oh, just want yes. to go on with it yeah. but internally you don't know that you are actually messing up the cornea mm -hmm. now once the cornea becomes conical uh, the vision starts becoming blurred mm -hmm. and by chance if it is only one eye then it is very difficult to detect because according to the patient mm. i can see very well there's no problem with yeah. me when they come for their checkups, annual checkups and all that, that is the time people like us mm -hmm. uh, evaluate and look internally what is really happening. Mm -hmm. And through that, we come to learn that there is an issue here. Mm -hmm. So we do our relative tests, mm -hmm. we do referrals, mm -hmm. and then once confirmed, mm -hmm. then we start on the contact lens therapy. Absolutely. And it is a lens. Uh, do you mind if I show you the lens? Sure, go ahead. It, it is uh, something very, very simple. You will be surprised. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if the camera will be able to catch it or not, but. 
That's the contact tiny. lens. Tiny. Yes, it's an yeah. eight point seven millimeters, nine mm -hmm. millimeters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the lens. Yeah. This very, is very what tiny. gives yeah. you vision. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Yeah. But naturally, the parameters, mm -hmm. the curvatures, everything have to be perfect. All right. Okay. Um, and Linda says it's like it was like it was a rebirth <laughs> for her. All right. And and aside from you know the fact that we keep rubbing our eyes, which again we do that sometimes subconsciously. Um, and sometimes we know, but then we just keep on doing it, right? Yeah. But what are some of the other things that sometimes we do, subconsciously or not, that you know might bring eye problems later? So basically it is hygiene. Okay. That is number one, right. very important. Mm. Uh, as, the, as they say, keep on washing hands. Sure. And it is a real uh, idiom, we have to follow that. Not only during COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's when we really washed our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout. Yeah. The second thing is regular checkups, even when we are children, mm -hmm. since childhood. Mm -hmm. Regular checkups from schools mm -hmm. and onwards to high school and to college and on to university. Mm -hmm. One checkup every one year or at least every two years, mm -hmm. that would help tremendously. Mm -hmm. Number three is uh, uh, don't touch your eyes. That is my mantra. Oui. Yeah, okay. it is very difficult. <laughs> it's difficult not <laughs> it's to. It's extremely difficult because yeah. I myself do it sometimes. Right? How am I, yeah. Who am I to tell you then? <laughs> so but try. It, it, yeah, we try. Okay. We try. At least if it is in the back of the mind, mm -hmm. we, 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 we don't do all these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, general upkeep, mm -hmm. living in uh, good uh, uh, conditions, mm -hmm. uh, keeping yourself uh, healthy and uh, hygienic. All right. These are the stepping stones. Some of the things that we can yeah, do to yeah. prevent some of these problems. But yeah. of course, I'll come back in terms of then, because we know our lifestyle, some of this behavioral, you know, yes. aspects of our lives that sometimes bring up, up issues, um, staring at our gadgets for a very long time. And even now, we're seeing an increase, especially when it comes to eye problems among children. We'll talk about that in just a second. Right. Um, but Linda, for you, so what are some of the things that you were able to do, some of the things that you were not able to do? Because again, like you said, this is what you knew that this is just the vision <laughs> and I feel this is a thing with so many people because yeah. we don't know mm -hmm. so we just think mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. it's it. mm -hmm. because you're on and off to the hospital mm -hmm. uh, you're having bandages with your eyes mm -hmm. sympathy from left right and center yeah. you know you don't want to be left back from school and mm -hmm. stuff like that mm -hmm. so I'd say for my high school bit it mm -hmm. made my life very challenging all right this so is during treatment. Yeah, during treatment. Right, but before, mm. what are some of the things that you wouldn't maybe before be able to do? the time before that I didn't know, yes. I, I didn't see far. Right. I didn't choose to see far. Mm -hmm. And uh, my grandmother would complain that I'm squinting. I'm looking at her, but you know, yes. I, we didn't know what the problem was. <laughs> she was always complaining. You, yeah. you, you, you know, mm -hmm. why are you looking at me like that? All right. So I, I struggled with sight. Mm -hmm. So even uh, uh, during classroom, I used to stay in front. Oh, you were the literally yeah, the, with yeah, the lecturer, with the see. teacher. Yeah. Everyone knew this is Linda's position, okay. yeah, because I didn't used to see. Right. So when I'm reading, I used to read like this. Oh, wow. So I used to struggle a lot. All so right. if it's watching television, mm -hmm. I used to you had to be there, be there, close to the television. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I didn't understand. I also used to have a lot of headaches. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and and Dr. we see that a lot, especially now with the children, where they just want to see the television is literally <laughs> here. <laughs> they want yeah. to see True. here, True. right? So can we just talk about the eye problems? Um, you know, in children and what we're doing that contributes to this thing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first and foremost is many children will not like this statement, but mm -hmm. it is a reality. Yeah. Uh, we have developed a culture of uh, literally uh, ignoring our children. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is that when children come to parents and say, mommy, this is what I want, or dad, let's go out. We take the mobile phone and oh give yeah, it to give them, them. Yeah. and Sit there, tell them, play. Entertain yourself. Yeah. And the screen creates a lot of issues. In particular, it creates dry eyes. Mm -hmm. It creates a lot of eye strain. Mm -hmm. And the child once gets the charm of uh, games and uh, different things on the screen, mm -hmm. the internet is relentless. Mm -hmm. I would call it an, almost an epidemic. <laughs> yeah, you you cannot just leave it. It is so infectious yeah. that it keeps on calling out and to you. And once you start, you never stop. You, you never just stop. want to be on it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the more you continue looking at uh, the small screen, especially the mobile screens, mm -hmm. the more the trouble starts. Okay. 
Um, I will advise uh, very much that anybody using a, first you are not, uh, scientifically you are only allowed practically 22 minutes screen watching in 24 hours. That's one minute an hour. Yes. We must understand this. Okay. Number 22 minutes, 22 in, minutes 24 in 24 hours. hours. And not just 22 minutes, like constant like, 22 <laughs> minutes, then you're like, okay, fine, 22 minutes exactly. out. Exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Secondly, uh -huh. that uh, you have to keep the screen as far as, far, as, far as possible, about yes. 22 inches away from you. All right. uh, because the magnetic field around the device is at 18 inches. Mm. So if you are at 22 inches, you are safe. All right. uh, <coughs> third, it is very important to take uh, breaks, ev uh, two breaks every two hours. Okay. Every, sorry, every one hour. Every Every one, one hour. Two breaks. Yeah, Every and the break hour. doesn't, you don't have to shift from your uh, perch or from your seat. Mm -hmm. You just have to turn and look for 20 seconds mm -hmm. and you're back. All right. So, so um, two, uh, wait, you said two Twice. breaks. Two breaks every one hour. Every one hour. And so this is on any screen. Any screen. Television, computer. Okay. Television what? is okay. Oh, television, television is okay. okay. Right. But, uh, but any closed screen. Ah, yeah. yeah the word problem. <laughs> it's actually the prescription phone. is mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and a break every 20 minutes. Okay. But I know nobody can do that. No. So I have coined it myself and put myself into ease by saying mm. twice in one, in hour, one hour, knowing very well that at least you'll do once. That's true. Yeah. That's true. If you completely find it difficult at least <laughs> once. All right. But, but now we know. I mean, and, and like you're saying, once you have it in the back of your mind, it becomes a little bit easier yes. um, for you, to, for you be, to do that. And you'll be yeah. surprised. You yeah. know, a normal human being, a proper human being, mm -hmm. blinks about 16 to 18 times a minute. Okay. Okay, when we are talking like this or yeah. partaking food or whatever. Mm -hmm. We blink about 18 to 20 times a minute. Oh, wow. Okay, uh -huh. uh, 16, 18, 20, whatever. Mm -hmm. But a computer person mm -hmm. will blink only four times a minute. Now, you know, when okay. you blink, there is, a, there is a tear duct here which releases tears. Mm -hmm. And that lubricates our eyes. Mm -hmm. When the eyes are lubricated, they are happy and healthy. All right. But when they are dry, then all the problems start. You, feel, you start feeling dryness, a burning sensation, red, mm -hmm. tearing, all mm -hmm. those things. All right. Okay, how about we take a break? But of course, when we come back, I uh, would also want to see how you do. Uh, we know that <laughs> the check we have a lot of, uh, we have a machine. The child came in, uh, you know, <laughs> prepared <laughs> today. But remember the question that we're asking you today, that is how often do you go for eye checkups? Uh, interact with us on our socials. I can see a number of your feedback, but of course, I'll be looking at them after the break. Um, how often do you go for checkups? Interact with us at NTV Kenya and at Lubembe underscore. We need Linda is here to also share her experience with us. There's so much to come after the break. Stay with us. Remember, it is World Sight Day. So, so much more to come after the break. Stay with us. Are you looking to build your dream home? Soil Merchants is offering you the opportunity to own a residential plot in Gong, one of the fastest growing towns near Nairobi. This high value property fronting the tarmac with close proximity to major development projects makes it a preferred residential area. It has amazing views of Ngong Hills in a serene environment. Water and electricity are available with schools and health facilities nearby. Get an 8th acre plot for only 595,000 shillings inclusive of title deed. Join us on our open day on 15th October 2022. SMS plot to 21595 for more details. Do not miss out on this great investment opportunity. Soil merchants, buy today. Build today. Unajua deadline yako update details za line yako inakaribia? Safaricom imekuraisishia mambo. Sasa, unaweza ji update ya maelezo yako chini ya dakika mbili kwa website ya www.safaricom.com forward slash account forward slash KYC upload au utembele duka la Safaricom au agenti wa Mpesa karibu nawe ukiwa mbeba kitambulisho au passport yako original ili usajiliwe kabla ya tarehe 15 Oktoba mwaka huu. Epuka kufungiwa laini. Safaricom. Set up 
the place. I'm going to talk to Gabriel. Are you sure you're ready for this? I don't want the truth to come out. What if we make Bianca come out as an aggrieved warrior princess? We play the sympathy card. Let's make it look like Gabrielle left or cheated on her. Don't you feel sorry for your own son? That's exactly why I hid from him all these years. I didn't want him to see me as his mother. Victoria, your husband left you for good. I'm the only one who loves you. Whatever you do, I will never love you. Forever my love. Are you a holder of unclaimed financial assets? Take advantage of the Finance Act 2022 moratorium on penalties and interests. Surrender any unclaimed financial assets in your possession today. Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority. Receive Safeguard Reunite. In your paper this week, Museven is Haydek. General Muhozi Kainerubaga, Uganda's president's son, will remain problematic because his ambition to get young leaders take over the country runs counter to his father's ambition. Why Samia head to fire right-hand woman plus our opinion leaders? Tanzania may be a feeble republic, but it is by no means a monarchy. Generali Ulumengu if we stop stealing 3 billion US dollars, European Union won't lecture us over a mere 2 billion US dollars. Joaquin Buembo, Magazine, The Late Night Show, coming to your screens without Trevor Noah. For this and more stories, get your copy of The East African. There's something I have to tell you. I want you to know directly from my lips who your dad is. What the heck are you saying? I really don't get you. You're already married. What you should do instead of being attentive to what I do or what I stop doing is worry about your wife. I still have a chance with you? No, Lorenza. Darling, I wanted to take this path with you and for you, but not alone. Oh, my sweetheart. And we are together in this. I'm supporting you in everything. It had to be you. Crystal Rivers Residences along Mombasa Road comprises three-bedroomed apartments, three-bedroomed and four-bedroom townhouses. The only mixed-use development close to the Nairobi Expressway. Easy payment plans available. Terms and conditions apply. Call 0757-620-202. Soil Merchants is offering you the opportunity to own a residential plot in Gong, one of the fastest growing towns near Nairobi. Get an eighth acre plot for only 595,000 shillings inclusive of title deed. Join us on our open day on 15th October 2022. All right, welcome back. Glad you're still with us. The show is Your World, and of course, today is World Site Day, and we are reminding you how important for all of us to just make sure that we take care of our eyes, uh, and of course, that is to prevent so many um, side problems, right, or eye problems, really in general. Of course, remember we asked you today, how often do you go for checkups? Uh, one David Kitavi says, I did an eye checkup once in my life. Wow. I was in high school, I think. I'm a software consultant. I'm on the computer practically every minute, although my eyesight is excellent, I guess. It's important to have checkups once in a while. And of course, goes on to say, I guess we have to create new rules for our children on screen time. This is very informative, very important. Two breaks every hour. Absolutely. <laughs> so keep uh, tweeting at NTV Kenya at Lubembe underscore Winnie. Remember, this is both on Facebook and on Twitter. And of course, we'll get to read your feedback. If you have any question for Dr. Somji, again, feel free to do so. And he's here to answer all your questions. And Linda as well. She can, <laughs> she will answer your questions. Uh, but Dr. Somji, again, right about now, you're about to do uh, what an evaluation? A, if I a can demonstration, call that? A yeah, demonstration uh, uh, on, of the yes. vision refractive errors. All right. And I will know from here if there is any indication of cataracts. All right. 
and uh, the lashes, how they are turning in or out. Ah, okay. Condition is known as entropion and ectropion. Okay. And uh, all these things will, within seconds, we will be able You'll to You'll be know. able to do yes, that. You said what, like perfect. three? <laughs> seconds. Wow. Three, three seconds. Three seconds and he has. <laughs> Thanks to okay. technology, yeah. All right. So, okay, Doc. Um, shall I? Yes, go ahead. Okay. If you'll please open your eyes wide, look straight, and just a press, and it's registered. It goes to the next eye automatically. Oh, wow. Centers itself. And it's done. Okay. All right. And then, uh, if you press this button, uh -huh. You get, that's it. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That easy. Thank yes. you so much. That's so appreciated. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, my if patient. You have <laughs> and that basically is what comes out. Okay. It gives you the prescription. It gives you the corneal health. Uh -huh. uh, cataract and all that, the lashes we, 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 we have seen. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't come here. Mm -hmm. But the main information is all here. It, it, yeah. And that's right. if I, once I get this, I'm king. Oh, I know everything wow. now. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I'm not too sure if Benson would would uh, be okay for us to share. <laughs> oh, he says he's okay. Yeah. All right, Doc, are so, you able to interpret that? Yes. Okay. In his right eye, uh -huh. the, he is slightly myopic. He can't okay. see. Distance vision is a problem. All right. Left slightly is better uh -huh. than the right. Than the right. Okay. Uh -huh. And then there's a condition known as astigmatism, where our eyeball is like a rugby ball, mm -hmm. not like a football. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so he has got, got slight indication of astigmatism All right. in the left eye. All right. Now, astigmatism is a very big word, but it's actually not a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody thinks because there is a word stigma, and it creates yeah. a, but there is no stigma to it. Mm -hmm. It is just a word. All right. And uh, and and uh, overall, mm -hmm. corneal health is very very good. Mm -hmm. Kudos. <laughs> Your vision slightly impaired. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Okay, slightly, slightly yeah. impaired. All yeah. right, thank you so much, but so for, for agreeing to do this uh, for us just to see yes. how, how, and that is very quick. Three seconds and we are done. I mean, talk of technology. <laughs> <Indeed>. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, True. and Linda, for you, the first time you went in for, you know, your checkup, what are some of the things that you thought mm -hmm. was going to happen? What were some of the things that maybe you were afraid uh, of? Because, hey, majority <laughs> of us, when you think about going to, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have to really prepare yourself for the same. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think the first time I didn't have an idea of what to expect. Yeah. So you, you went in these rooms to find big machines. Mm -hmm. So you start being afraid, yeah. you know. Yeah, but with time you get used to it. Right. Yeah, so they, they just become a norm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you went in for your surgery and of course, um, you know, like the whole treatment aspect. You said your high school was uh, you know, a disaster. It was, <laughs> it was a, dis a total disaster. It was a lot happening at that uh, time. It was a total disaster. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So after that, then at what point mm -hmm. did you sort of like get that intervention? Like it changed. When exactly um, did that happen? Because like you said, 10 years ago is when you found out that you have uh, keratoconin, right? Yeah, yeah. Then went through the whole period of treatment, mm. um, you know, in, in high school. Yeah. Um, so at what point were you, like the doctor said, listen, eh, mm. we're good now. <laughs> <laughs> so after, you know, after you've done the surgery, yeah. there is like after treatment. Mm. So there are drops, you keep putting drops. Mm -hmm. I actually put drops for more than four years. Oh, wow. Every day. Yeah. Every day of yeah. drops. Yeah. So you you buy drops today. Yeah. Then after a week, you're told by there you you have to you have to put others. Mm. So it was on and off, on and off. And then maybe after like uh, five years, mm. I stopped. Mm -hmm. So everything was good. Yeah. But then the vision didn't come back. All right. So uh, what I understood is that the eye could not go bad, mm. but then the vision was not there. Yeah. So I just uh, I just kind of got comfortable with that. Mm. So my life went back to normal. Mm. Uh, after another five years, that is when I started problems again. Mm -hmm. So I started feeling pain in the eye. Mm -hmm. I started feeling uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So light irritates me. Mm -hmm. So these are things that were not there before. Right. So that is when I, th I thought of like uh, seeking for a second option. Mm -hmm. And that is when I bumped into Dr. Somji. All right. And the journey began again. Okay. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. said, a rebirth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it became a totally new person. Uh, yeah. All right. And, and, and Doc, let me just going back to, to, to Benso's, um, we don't want to say diagnosis, because <laughs> like you said, this is just what 
um, you know, you see, and then you need to do like further further yes, investigations yes, yes, into 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 the same. But you mentioned a lot of slightly, <laughs> slightly this, slightly there, um, but overall. He's good, right? So what are some of the things that he needs to do for this, to correct this slightly, if they can be? If the vision is, if he feels that he cannot see very well, especially at night, mm -hmm. it would be good for him to wear glasses. All right. At all, only if it, uh, at all for night driving, mm -hmm. that would be fantastic. All right. Then when he's watching TV or if he goes for safari hunting and this, that and the other, mm -hmm. or cinema, mm -hmm. then it is better if he wears glasses, mm -hmm. all the characters will be seen very clearly spot on. Okay, yeah, all so right, don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, he all doesn't right. have to squint to the eyes then. Okay. Otherwise, sometimes you might need to do that. All right, mm. okay. Um, but then again, coming back to Linda's um, case that is on character coding, right? Um, she talked about eye drops four years every day every day that yes. is wow that's that's a lot it's but a really and and maybe on a case of a misdiagnosis right um and even delayed treatment can that lead to maybe oh, yes. blindness oh yes mm -hmm. misdiagnosis is one of the major issues which is coming up quite often all right so uh but with the eyes the eyes are very resilient uh, in our body it's fantastic actually mm -hmm. So if not caught this year, it will be caught next year. Mm -hmm. It depends on the problem the patient is going through. Mm -hmm. If the patient is feeling too uncomfortable, then naturally he or she will seek a different opinion. All right. And it will be caught on. So mm -hmm. there's no big issue about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And then for children, um, again, do you still use the same machine <laughs> for children? Do you have specific? So for children, yeah. uh, I've brought in a machine which mm -hmm. is uh, really helpful. All right. And uh, that machine is, uh, how do I call it? Uh, I, I, I don't even need to go near the patient. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. near the child. Mm -hmm. Because when uh, the, we approach the child, mm -hmm. uh, they're naturally intimidated. That's they're true. not happy because yeah. everybody, every child thinks that there'll be an injection coming oh, yes. up. yes. <laughs> so I, I brought this machine from Germany mm -hmm. and it has worked very well for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I placed the child on the seat All right. and be away from the child by about one meter, mm -hmm. complete one meter. So no, no ways am I intimidating the child. Yeah. And then I asked them to look at the smiley face. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's the nose, the, the nose on the smiley face. Yes. Once they start looking, mm -hmm. I press the button and it makes a sound. So they are attracted towards the Do sound. Do they say yes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once they are attracted, they keep on looking there mm -hmm. and I get a prescription here. Mm -hmm. On this screen, I okay. get the prescription. All right. Straight away. Is it as fast as the other one? Yes, seconds. Ah, Literally okay. Seconds. All right. Yeah, because you do not want to keep a child there for a yeah. long time. It's like, okay, what's happening? So this way, <laughs> the child is not intimidated. Yeah. It's fascinated of what's really happening. Mm -hmm. It's looking at a smiley face. Mm -hmm. So all are positives. Mm -hmm. We are trying to get uh, closer to the child mm -hmm. and the child responds fantastic mm -hmm. it's super yeah so then we get a, a subjective prescription here mm -hmm. then we put on the our trial frame even with adults you have to put up a trial frame mm -hmm. and they come up with the exact prescription mm. this is indicative prescription right. but okay. very close to the real one yeah the exact one. okay all right um and then for treatment again there are different treatment options for different eye um problems right yeah. um Linda mentioned an aspect of surgery, and ha, when you mention <laughs> surgery in the eye, <laughs> it's another story. Exactly, but what are some of this, and especially for um, keratoconus? Um, can you just take us through, you know, what, so, what that looks like? So basically, mm -hmm. uh, with children first, yeah. if if you if mm -hmm. I, if sure. you allow me, yeah. With children, it doesn't go to surgery or anything like that initially, mm -hmm. because uh, mainly it is refractive error. All the right. child can't see. The mm -hmm. parent comes in, we check, and we give the glasses and all that. All but right. we monitor every three to six months. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then secondly is uh, if the no child is having a squint, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. It could be a permanent squint, it could be an alternate squint. All right. That we have to treat uh, through with the glasses also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, then there is a small surgery involved where the muscles come in All right. and we adjust the muscles. I'll put it mildly for you. Okay. Uh, so uh, that way the child doesn't feel much. So the uh, eyes then become straight mm -hmm. and it, 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 uh, uh, the child is, d doesn't go undergo the stigma of having mm -hmm. cross eyes. That's true. Yeah. And at the same time, if it is not too much, we, then we uh, prescribe uh, exercises for them. Mm -hmm. 
So, glasses, exercises, uh, probably surgery, which is the last mm -hmm. resort. Then there is the patching of the eye. Mm -hmm. So, if the right eye is not seeing well, mm -hmm. then we patch the left eye, the oh. good eye, oh. forcing the right eye to fixate. To fixate. Yeah. yeah. So it's physiotherapy basically of the, the eye. eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we force the eye to, to, to fixate properly. All right. And that really helps. But mm -hmm all within eight or nine years of life. Ah, okay. Once you pass that, then it's very difficult to, for mm -hmm. the vision to come back properly. Okay. One very important factor is amblyopia, which mm -hmm. is lazy eyes. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, many of the children go undetected mm -hmm. with amblyopia. All right. And when they come in for checkup, that is the time we realize that there is, in one eye, there is uh, amblyopia or lazy eyes. Mm -hmm. And we prescribe glasses, and the glasses really help. It restores vision about 90 percent, oh, wow. only through wearing of glasses. Mm -hmm. So uh, early childhood checkups are it's the order important. of the day. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. All right. But then again, for adults, um, what does that look like? Uh, when it comes to like treatment, especially for uh, keratoconus, and then we'll come back to this other eye problems. Okay. Yeah. So uh, during the annual checkups, we would know whether this patient has got keratoconus or not. All right. And this s s small chit here will help us mm -hmm. because the corneal health is down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will know. Mm -hmm. So every year, if if there is a problem, it's a must for us to uh, to check every year. All right. And uh, I, I would break it down, if a child is up till 10, 12 years old mm -hmm. every year, if it's an infant up till five years old every six months, uh, if there is a problem. If okay. not, every year is good. Mm -hmm. Then as we grow, mm -hmm. it comes to when you reach 40, 45 years every two years. All right. When you reach 55, one year again. Mm -hmm. So it's basically between one and one and a half years, two okay. years in between. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Linda, for you again, after rebirth, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> was that it, or were you, you know, are you required to go for like your checkups, maybe every so often, maybe not? Uh -huh. um, you tell us what what is it like for you? Wow, the journey never it keeps continuing. All right. I, I think I see Dr. Somji are like. So many times. Okay. So, uh, so you have to keep. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm family to the style of t-shirts. Everyone right. knows me literally when they clean that. Okay. <laughs> so you have to keep going mm -hmm. for the checkups mm -hmm. because, again, for my case, right now I'm wearing contact lenses mm -hmm. and I'm doing both hard and soft lenses. All right. So you find that what does sometimes. That mean, like the hard and soft lenses? Or a doc is in a better position I, yeah, to tell us. Okay, going to all right, doc will tell us. But yes. that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so sometimes you find that you want a lens in the morning, mm -hmm. and then it's kind of itchy. Mm -hmm. Like the other day, it's it's stuck on my upper, the upper. Mm -hmm. It just disappeared oh, on yeah. my eye, and yeah. I had to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So you find that it's a it's a it's a daily it's thing. A journey. Yeah, yeah, it's a journey. You have to accept yourself, right. and you have to keep going. Okay. Yeah. So it's regular. All right. Yeah. But now you're wearing glasses. Okay, well, is this more for the light, or do, is it more of a preference, you know? No, it's not preference. Yeah. So the glasses I'm wearing right now are mm -hmm. for the light. light. They have okay. light, dust, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also the sun, oh, anti-glare. And computers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And computers. Oh, yeah, it's really The blue block, the blue block he's talking about. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And of course, that is a perfect way for us to actually go and, and, and talk about um, the blue, blue block. block. Mm. But again, the soft and hard lens in the blue okay. <laughs> to, the, to the blue. <coughs> so yeah. to, to, to manage keratoconus, mm -hmm. we need to put hard lens. Right. Okay, it's known as the RGP, rigid gas permeable lens. Mm -hmm. But many patients are very, very sensitive. Mm -hmm. The eyes being a delicate organ of the body, it mm -hmm. is naturally sensitive. All right. So what we do is we put a soft contact lens first, which is known as the bandage lens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we actually put a bandage lens mm -hmm. on the eye, right. which is soft right. and very comfortable. All right. On top of that, we mount the, ah, hard, lens, the hard lens, the shuttle, okay. Okay, or we call it piggyback. Okay. So the piggyback is for you to see, see. Mm -hmm. and the soft is for the comfort. Ah, I so see. she wears two lenses, All right. but she is normal during the day, every time. No okay. problem at all. All right. And this, of course, you have to do this every 
day, day. every day um, okay then we'll come back to in terms of then how do you take care of that because you know yeah. taking it out and then of course wearing it yeah. and you know just taking care of the same yeah. um but I try there's also the question of we talked about uh, cataract as well um and glaucoma and, and like you said for for glaucoma unfortunately um, it's irreversible. It's irreversible, which is sure. just which is just sad, right? But for cataract, um, you want to show us that the, okay. the, the difference? So before I do mm -hmm. that demonstration, mm -hmm. I would like to speak something on glaucoma. Yeah. I will advise everybody of us, mm -hmm. all of us who have attained the age of 42, 43 onwards, right. must go in for an eye pressure check. Mm -hmm. There is a machine, mm -hmm. it's seconds again, mm -hmm. and if the pressure is high, then that it needs to be controlled. Right. If it is proper, then you have to be checked every two years. Mm -hmm. So any person attaining the age of 42, 43, mm -hmm. must have the eye pressure checked. All right. Okay. Okay. And uh, that is that is a given. It is a must. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we go on to cataract now, mm -hmm. and I'll do a small demo. All right. And inside our eye, mm -hmm. if you look at the cross section. Mm -hmm. Ooh, want to turn it the other side? This way? Yes, that way. Yes, can okay. you see it? I can see. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. So inside, behind the cornea, mm -hmm. is a lens. All right. Okay? Yeah. That lens, as we grow mm -hmm. and become more wiser, mm -hmm. <laughs> this lens starts to become gray. All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. It becomes gray. It mm -hmm. creates uh, some sort of, there are some zonules inside. Mm -hmm. Uh, proteins are built up on it and the lens instead of being crystal clear starts becoming foggy. Mm -hmm. The denser the fogginess, mm -hmm. the more the cataract. All right. What happens in cataract? The light coming from outside mm -hmm. does not go to the retina, the behind right. part of the eye. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, then the patient says, I'm feeling blurred vision. Mm -hmm and I'm I not comfortable yeah. uh, around the light when I'm driving at night, there are halos, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. uh, rainbow colored, mm -hmm. and we immediately know that this is a cataract case. Right. And there are different type of cataract, it is known to be cataract, but there are almost 11 type of cataracts. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we have to determine which type of cataract is there. One has, yeah. Surgery, however, is same for all of them, mm -hmm. so almost, almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so once th that is detected and if it is, uh, 30, 40 percent dense, it is better for it to be removed. All right. Uh, and the first uh, touch contact is us, primary healthcare people, optometrist. Mm -hmm. One, once we confirm that uh, mm -hmm. this is cataract and all that, so all right. then uh, we send it, uh, the patient to the hospital. All right. In this, I would like to say that anybody visiting opticians mm -hmm. should go to uh, people who have got all the tools mm -hmm. and the know-how on how to detect and diagnose the problem of the eye. That's true. Because there are so many outlets in the country, mm -hmm. uh, because our un unfortunately our profession is not regulated as such yeah. at present. Uh, so we are trying to do that as Kenya Association of Opticians. Mm -hmm. And hopefully within this year, uh, next year, we should be on board. Mm -hmm. But before that is happening, there are many people out there who just, uh, there's an optical shop. So you go, get the vision done, get the glasses <laughs> done, and off and you go. It, it's no. not as simple as that. Okay. You have to go through six or seven tests before oh. your final diagnosis is confirmed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Hey, comprehensive. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's <laughs> what Dr. is talking yeah. about. All right. And of course, when it comes to the management of the same, taking care of your contact lenses and all those things, and even for your eye in general, what are some of the things that, uh, you know, Dr. Somjo is like, you know what, uh, mm -hmm. this is what you need to do. <laughs> 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 Just to make sure that, you know, you're okay and your contact lenses as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Damban is washing hands mm -hmm. every time you hand lead your eye. All right. So, whether you're putting it the, the contact mm -hmm. in or out, you have to wash your hands. All right ensure they're dry. Mm -hmm. um, there's also the aspect of uh, washing your hands with salt and water. Mm -hmm. So maybe after like three days, mm -hmm. just after the day, mm -hmm. you just remove the contacts and then put salt and then you will wash your eye. All right. And then recently, mm -hmm. he's very, he emphasizes on me not having any screen time. So okay. right now I'm banned from the phone. I just have to like call, okay. receive calls and call. 
That's full and stop. that's it. So if I'm using the laptop, it has to be meters away. All right. So he's even telling me to like uh, find a television and mount it so that I can connect my laptop to the ah, television. Okay. So right. screen time mm -hmm. is just out. I don't know. It's for just you. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, for how long? Do you know for how long? For life. <laughs> <laughs> it's for life because it's a, it's, oh, it's a lifetime condition. Yeah. So you, if you if you don't want the condition to deteriorate, you have to take care of yourself. That's true. Yeah. That's so true. you have to forego this thing. Yeah. Some of this is a sacrifice. Yeah. 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 The, the sacrifices that you have to do sometimes. Yeah. Oh no. So no movie nights for you. <laughs> no TikTok. No, no. no TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no TikTok. No. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, But it's, yeah. it's, it's good. It's, again, like we're saying, it's a sacrifice they have to make. Sure. And, and Doc, one might ask, why is it that the television is okay, yeah. but a laptop or a phone mm. is, is, is not? Great. Yeah. So before I answer that, mm -hmm. one uh, very important uh, cue for uh, our, our listeners. And phone, our cell phone is actually a phone which comes through phonetic. Phonetic is connected to ears. Mm -hmm. So the phone is made for the ears, not for the <laughs> eyes. We must understand that. Yeah. So let's not keep on watching. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, from any device, mm -hmm. the magnetic field revolves around at 18 inches. Mm -hmm. So if the TV is at around two or three meters, mm -hmm. it's, it's no way the rays out of that screen are coming up. Yeah. We always think about ultraviolet rays bothering us. Mm -hmm. But you will not believe there are about six to seven different rays which come out from screens. Mm. And all these, the infrared and mm. uh, the red uh, eye, uh, red wave, the mm -hmm. radio waves, mm -hmm. there's so gamma rays. Yeah. There's so there's many so different much. rays which keep on attacking. Mm -hmm. Now imagine if you are on two hours on mm -hmm. that small thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might not want no to do that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you do the math yeah. and understand. All right, we literally have to end the show. I know this is a conversation that we might want to have for the so entire day. Yeah. We want to talk about the blue light. Could you do that and then I'll take I'll that maybe as your quick parting one. shot? Yes, uh, very, I will very also, I, yes. if you'll allow me, I'll, I want to talk about uh, the Reva Hodari, please. Oh just my gosh. for two okay. minutes, just, just for two minutes. Seconds. So I don't know, yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, this is the blue light. Uh -huh. I don't know how you will see this. Uh -huh. You'll be able to see this? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. And if this uh, a patient is wearing a normal lens on uh -huh. a glasses, uh -huh. or all that uh, blue light coming from the screen, uh -huh. it goes through. Yeah. You see that blue light over yeah, there? Yeah, you can, can see, see it. it. Yes. But when you put on the blue lens, blue block lens, mm -hmm. there's no light oh. going oh, to the screen. Yes. It is blocked. Not at all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is our test for checking if the glasses okay. are. So you mu it is good to have a blue light, blue block lens. Blue block in your lens. Eyes. Okay. All and right. uh, uh, talking about seconds, we're being yes. chased out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> talking about Dereva Hodari, uh, Kenya Association of Opticians have joined up with uh, direct line uh, agencies, mm -hmm. of, uh, insurance agencies, mm -hmm. and they've been fantastic to us. We've all been right. very happy with them. Mm -hmm. They've uh, given us all the support. All right. Novartis also have come in, mm -hmm. and they have created uh, something for the retina. All they right. brought the machines and all that. All right. So we really appreciate that the it's Kenya important. Association of Opticians is indebted yeah, to them. Taking the the, yes, the advantage absolutely. of the day. All right, and Super. Linda, literally seconds. Yeah. Everybody who's watching us uh, right now and thinking, <laughs> I see my eye doesn't hurt, so really what's the point? Literally 10 seconds, what yeah. would you say to them? Go to the hospital, don't rub your eyes. Okay. <laughs> literally, don't rub your eyes, go get checked, mm -hmm. don't take things for granted. Absolutely, Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Some of those things that we take for granted, mm. but really, yeah. just don't. Just go and get your eyes checked. checked. And especially today, because yeah. it's World Sight yeah. Day. Yeah. So really, how about take advantage of the day and just go and get, uh, you know, your eyes checked. Mm. And, uh, we have to end the show, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately yeah. <laughs> Dr. Mutaza Sobdi, who's an optometrist, as well as Linda Wanjiku, again, who came in to share her experience with us. We say thank you, really to both of you such an insightful yeah. conversation that we had today mm. and of course like we said the ball is in your coat do not take things for granted go and get your you know your eyes checked take advantage of the day so my name is Winnie Lubembe have yourselves a good one we'll see you on the um I mean I'll see you next week because yeah. <laughs> tomorrow is radio meets tv so I'll see you next week on Monday same time same place stay safe god bless and go get your eyes checked see you soon <laughs>